morning, first grade friends and family. How are you today? Well, we're going to be talking about our feelings today. I brought this book to share with you. It's called A Guessing Alphabet, A to Z. Do you ever feel like me? By Bonnie Hossman, who is the author, the person who wrote the story, and Sandy Feldman, who is the illustrator, the person who did all the pictures. I want you, as we go through the story, to think about, are they pictures, like photographs, or are they illustrations, paintings, watercolor, acrylic, oil paintings? Think about all the different types of art that we've talked about this school year with Wit and Wisdom. So we are getting ready to start this book. I wonder which feelings we're going to see. Let's look at the back cover. Do you guys notice any of those feelings? Do any of those feelings look, look familiar to you? Hmm. And then you're going to think about how you're feeling today and you're going to write about it. Okay. I'm just going to read this introductory page. It says, can you guess, and there aren't really pictures on this page, so I'm not really going to hold it up the whole time because I'd like to be able to see the words. Can you guess how the children in this book are feeling? Their faces and stories are clues. Think about how you would feel and how you will probably figure out how they are feeling. Here's a hint. The feelings in the book are arranged in alphabetical order from A to Z. The first, feelings be the first feeling begins with an A. The last one begins with, what's the last letter of the alphabet? Z. Look at the big letter on each page. The sound the letter makes will help you guess the feeling. The objects in the border all begin with that sound too. Here's another hint. The word for the feeling is in the border. Remember the border is what goes around the, uh, around the page. But watch out, there are other feeling words in the border too. If you get stuck, just peek in the back of the book for the answer. Good luck and have fun. We are not going to get stuck, I hope. Oh, look at this page. Okay. When my sister, and look at all the different pictures. Let me turn this so you can see better. When my sister takes my stuff without asking first, I could just scream. This morning I found my bow on her teddy bear. I know she's little, but sometimes she makes me so... What do you think that missing word is? How does she look? Angry, yeah, she looks so angry. Oh. Letter B, I wonder how he's feeling. Today was the first day of school and it was great. I felt so nervous this morning. I didn't wanna go. I almost cried when I kissed my mom goodbye, but it all turned out okay because I was so booked what do you think it is? How does he look? He persevered and he was so brave. How many of you figured out brave? Good job if you did. We have another chance for letter C, A, B, C. And then we have D, but let's start with C. I wonder how she's feeling. Hmm, she's scratching her head. Huh. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. My teacher spoke so fast that now I'm confused. And I know sometimes we get confused in class, but that's okay, we just raise our hand. Look over here. Look at those arms. Well, it can't be excited because it starts with the letter D, but she does look happy and excited. Guess what? I'm getting a puppy. I'm happier then happy. I'm delighted. She's delighted. That's another feeling. These are some great feeling words for us. E. How do you think he's feeling? We were making a mural and I spilled the paint all over the floor. Everyone laughed at me. My teacher told me not to worry and helped me clean it up but I wish I could disappear. I feel so, how do you think he's feeling right now? Everyone's looking at him and laughing. 
Yeah, he's feeling embarrassed. I would feel embarrassed too. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right, look at all these people. Look at that. Oh, I think I know what this word is without even reading the story, just by looking at how they're next to each other. They are not social distancing, are they? <laughs> this was definitely before the coronavirus. F, we love playing together. We make up lots of nice games, lots of neat games, and we make one another laugh and smile. We try not to leave anyone out. Other kids like to play with us because we're so... What do you think that word is? I can think of a few words that would fit in there. We are so friendly. What about fun? But I definitely believe the word is friendly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Look at that G. She has all those lollipops. Oh my gracious. Mine, mine, mine. I won't share these with anyone. Go ahead. Call me greedy. I definitely think she's being greedy. Look at H. Hmm. He looks pretty handsome there, smiling. Let's see what it means. All right, let's see the feeling that he has. Can I, any of you guys guess what feeling he has? I'm going to my grandparents. My clothes look snappy. My eyes are twinkling. I feel so happy. He feels happy. And look, I put a place marker right here because we're only going to read up to H today. It's a very long book. So let's turn back to Mrs. Cohen. It's a very long book. And I don't want to have to make you guys sit and watch it for too long. And we'll do a little bit more of this reading tomorrow. I want all of you to take out your pencil and paper. And I want you to write a sentence about how you feel and why you feel that way. And I'd also like to see a picture, just like they showed the pictures here of the different children. Let's see if we can find some of their pictures. And if you don't feel the way that any of these children felt in the story, that's okay. Just write about how you're feeling today. It is a very confusing time for many of us, so maybe some of you might be feeling confused, delighted, I hope nobody's feeling embarrassed today. Sometimes I get embarrassed if I say silly things. All right, so at this time, I would like to get to work. I love you very much, and I will see you in a little bit.